All right, I'm looking at another Myrtle. This is the murder mystery game. We're solving a mystery. We've got the grid over here. We can make our checks. It's just like the old game of Clue. We're gonna hit the light bulb so we can see all the icons. And um, let's see, what do we got today? Detective, deductive Logico. I keep wanting to say Detective Logico. Deductive Logico in the case of the key from a keyboard. And I noticed yesterday that one of the clues was actually in the title, so I'm gonna have to start paying more attention to the titles, like the key from the keyboard, okay. Deductive Logico is enjoying his vacation in the tiny resort town when, well, what do you think happened? A self-described artisan was killed. Okay, let's look at our suspects. Today we have Miss Saffron, Chancellor Tuscany, Deacon Verdegrees, we've we've seen Deacon before, and Sister Lapis, we've seen Sister Lapis before too. They must have got out of jail. No, I, maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't the killers. I can't remember. I just remember they were in the puzzle. We have a laptop, key from the keyboard, a walking stick, a stone dagger, and a chainsaw. Okay, and then the locations are the five star restaurant, the real estate office, the gift shop, and the trailhead. All right, let's look at our clues. Suspect with a chainsaw had brown eyes. All right, let's go to the suspects, see who has brown eyes. Uh, hazel eyes, green eyes, blue eyes. Brown eyes is Sister Lapis. So Sister Lapis, or however you want to say it, had uh, a chainsaw. So let's see. The chainsaw. Oh, that's the chain. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. There we go. All right. Nice. Fingerprint was found at the trailhead. Let's look at the fingerprint. Look at all. Oh, uh, click the wrong button. Let's look at the fingerprints. There we go. So, um, that looks like Sister Lapis, Sister Lapis, 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 um, uh, found the trailhead, uh, trailhead, so that is the tree, all right, well, we're figuring out lots of stuff about this one, and oop, then we can do that already, all right, very nice, okay, either Chancellor Tuscany brought a chainsaw, well, we already know, Chancellor Tuscany did not bring a chainsaw because Sister Lapis had the chainsaw, so that's not true. Or Deacon Verdegrees bought brought a walking stick, so the Deacon had a walking stick, which I believe is the second one. Yep. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Miss Saffron and the person who brought a stone dagger had a history together. Ooh. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, so one thing we know about that is. Miss Saffron did not bring the stone dagger. Unless you want to argue that Miss Saffron had a history with herself. But, so then we know... Okay, so we know what weapon everybody had. Now we just got to figure out where the things were. Forensics determined a weapon made at least partially out of stone was present in the real estate office. All right, let's see which weapons are partially made out of stone. Laptop, probably not made out of any stone. Uh, walking stick is metal. Stone dagger, clearly made out of stone. And chainsaw, no stone. So the stone dagger is the only one made out of stone. And that was in the real estate office. So the stone dagger is in the real estate office. There we go. Very nice. And so then we know that the real estate office is um, whoever that person is, the second one. <laughs> Chancellor Tuscany. Um, the suspect at the five-star restaurant had gray hair. Okay, so who had gray hair? Let's see. Well, we already know... Five-star restaurant. Uh, it's It can only be Miss Saffron or Deacon Verdigris. So, um, wait, what was the clue? What was the clue? I forgot. Gray hair. Gray hair. Okay. Uh, Verdigris had gray hair. Saffron did not. So, it's Deacon Verdigris is at the five-star restaurant. There we go. And then we can do this and just match those up. And there we go. All right, very nice. That's all done. And a key from a keyboard was found beside self-described artisan. So the keyboard is who the killer was. So we've got Miss Saffron with the keyboard at the gift shop. Miss Saffron with the laptop at the gift shop. Make our accusation. There we go. See if we're right. And all right, very nice. It was Miss Saffron with a laptop in the gift shop. While Miss Saffron protested her innocence, she could not withstand the breathtakingly logical arguments or deductive, our deductive presented, and she admitted she was caught. Aw, oh, shucks, I thought I'd get away with it. All right, very nice. So that was a pretty quick one. Uh, four minutes and 46 seconds. That might be the fastest one I've done yet. There wasn't really anything 
to trip me up. Um, nothing, nothing too confusing. Like yesterday, I had to think a little bit more, but. Um, anyways, yeah, so there you go. Let me know what you thought of this mystery case today and how you did solving it. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more.